Welcome back to the, or welcome, I guess, to the Available Post podcast, the podcast where I eat a grilled cheese sandwich and drink some coffee, and uh, let's get uh, slimy and goopy. I'm your host, Callum. Cheese is really stringy. Very good. Now you get to hear me chewing. I know that's what you want, but that's fine. It's June now, and that's my birthday month, and you know what? That's how this is going to go. It doesn't really matter. Likely, people are still watching all the bangers that came out on other people's channels. You know, May was a pretty crazy YouTube year, which is where this is only available on YouTube at feralam.youtube.com. Slash YouTube.com? I don't actually know. It doesn't really matter. But yeah, you know, it's tough to compete with the likes of Jenny Nicholson, uh, Mooncat, and We're in Hell. Uh, all putting out thousand year bangers and uh, I would also put out a four hour video like this uh, but my grilled cheese sandwich won't last that long so that's the way it goes right now it's raining which isn't great water's coming through my front door but uh, I'm going to record this to uh, forget about that can't fix it right now so way it goes A couple days ago, went to Anime North, the Toronto Anime Convention. Very good. I didn't dress up. I wore a Teleporter shirt. Went to some panels. Some panels were good. Some panels were less good. Good panels. I learned about Manhwa. Probably saying it wrong. It doesn't matter. It's Korean manga, but basically it's based on the phone. So you just keep on scrolling. So it's all digital based. You just keep on scrolling. And I think that's a great idea. We should have more content like that. Like if you're going to read, just to keep on scrolling up. Like I think the Kindle market kind of destroyed the way we read ebooks and things like that. Uh, but if we just could just keep on scrolling up instead of like an infinite loop page, almost like a big papyrus scroll. I think you could do a lot more cool things like that. Uh, but it does definitely change the way the comics are read, which is neat. Uh, but it does also make it so print copies kind of suck. Fun facts. Just a little fun facts there. Uh, what else did I do? Uh, other good stuff. Oh, yeah. I learned about the dark ages of fighting games. That was that was a fun little panel. Learned all about... Well, I didn't really... I guess I, I, guess I learned some cool stuff about how many fighting games came out. Uh, basically, the fighting games turned into 3d and that was the dark ages and then street fighter 4 came out and you know focus attack dash canceled its way into everyone's hearts and dreams uh very cool lots of 3d fighters kind of flopped and bopped uh i guess tekken's the only real big 3d fighter still everything else is uh 2d you know marvel's capcom street fighter we got what is that other one Blaz Blue slash Guilty Gear, Guilty Blue, Blue Gear, that stuff. Uh, panel that I wasn't interested in. Not that I wasn't interested in it. I it just it confused me. It was supposed to be a, <laughs> Yokai One Hundred and One, learning about Yokai. And uh, I mean, if the guy who did the thing is listening to this, well, first of all. Why? Okay. So. Second of all, putting a Toho spin on something is strange. It's its choice. Uh, just playing three random Toho videos at the beginning that you didn't make. <laughs> admitting that you had no idea how this was going to go. And then proceeding to say, like, the most generic... Um, I guess the most generic idea of what yokai are, different types of yokai, but comparing them to the yokai in Toho as weird little anime waifu things, I, I don't know, I don't get it. Maybe, uh, maybe it just wasn't for me, but also like, uh, I don't pretend to be a yokai expert by any stretch but i played neo one and i feel like just playing neo one i learned 
more about yokai <laughs> than anything that that panel showed me. Uh, that was a, yeah, we could have went to a different panel. That's what I'm saying. It would have been more effective for our time. Uh, other than that, Anime North was pretty cool. There was a Jinji Ito wood uh, sculpture of the snail girl where her head's the shell and then the slug's out uh, that I was going to buy. But the vendor didn't take credit card and the event or the vendor alley had no cell service. So I couldn't e-transfer them. I lost their card. So I can't find them anymore. So if, you, if you're listening vendor who sells the hand sculpted slug girl from anime north contact me because i would like actually to still buy that i was i came home and i was about to like order it if that was even possible and it wasn't possible because i lost the card and that was the only card i lost only thing i lost and that's my that's my thing that's my thing i've been talking yeah there you go uh little you know Let's talk about the channel. What did we do? We played Crow Country this last month, into this month, and uh, Crow Country slaps. So sweet. Crow Country is like, it gives me, uh, gives me big joy. Gives me big joy to play Crow Country. That was a very fun survival horror amusement park themed game. Super, it was just good. It was good. Tight controls. Felt nice to play didn't feel like it was too too hard didn't feel like it was too too easy i like that yeah i give it a give it a big old thumb up the story was really cool lots of cool little secret stuff you can do puzzles good yeah uh crow country nice uh chrono arc also kind of released and uh fully released so i've been playing some chrono arc too and uh the new additions very fun uh i just getting back into Chrono Arc has been a blast. Uh, super fun. Uh, an enjoyable experience. I like that a lot. What else do we got? What else do we got to talk about? I'm going to take it on a bite of my... Yeah. Yeah. That's good. It's a nice little thing, you know? I'm going to eat down or drink my coffee. This is what you can expect from the available post podcast. You already know. It doesn't matter. But I have uh, so many games. I've been playing um, Islands of the Caliph. That's fun. You know, go around. Very grid based. Interesting. Old style game, but definitely modernized controls for a modernized system. So you can, you can move around pretty quick. Things like that. It doesn't feel very sluggish. It's good. Decent time. Enjoy that. Uh, damn, it's getting it's getting hot and humid in here. Cheese not helping, but it is delicious. I was out gardening all day yesterday. That was pretty fun. Because I couldn't buy the slug girl, I decided that my Sunday was going to be spent. It's Monday right now. Magic Monday specifically. The Mondays where we play Magic. But we're not playing Magic right now. We're playing this. We're playing, uh, playing Make the Podcast. You guess what day is it? It's, it's 527? It's 527, 2024. Which is um, a date, not a time. It's 10 a.m. 10 a.m. and my front door has water leaking. Because, I don't know. I guess it's the first heavy rain. Got to move some wood from the front of my house, something like that. I got, I got to seal st stuff up. Seal Team 6, got to do it up. It's fine. I'll do it when it's dry. Maybe tomorrow. My dog is, uh, she's finally getting tired of me talking and she's leaving. She left. Good. Bye, Bean. Uh, what did I was talking Oh, yeah, I bought plants because I couldn't buy the slug thing. Which kind of sucks. Uh, honestly, I would have liked the slug thing, but I bought plants instead. So I got a little elderberry, elderberry tree bush that I'm trying to plant. You know, you know, we got my Italian herbs and spices, stuff like that. Some basil. We got some tomatoes going. 
got some weird broccoli hybrid from my wife. She likes the broccoli hybrid. She wanted something green to be able to cut up and eat. Uh, our lettuce is growing great. Got lots and lots of stuff in the garden. I had to dig up a whole bunch of mint. I made the world's, well, maybe not the world's hot sauce, but very hot sauce that I had. I had some red chilies, a whole pile of red chilies that were going to go bad. So I, I blended them all up, grilled some, uh, grilled some stuff, blended it all together with a whole pile of mint, some oil, stuff like that. Made a nice little sauce. It's a very minty sauce, but it is, um, it's very hot. Very, very hot. Like, it's tough to, it's tough to eat that much. But it's fine. You know, it doesn't really matter that much. None of that really matters. What really matters is that I was gardening all day yesterday, so I'm a little tired from that. But then it started to rain, so that was really good for the garden, bad for my front door. But you win some, you lose some. My neighbor's doing something weird. I can see him through my window. He can't see me. Oh well. That's fine. June, we're going to have some fun stuff going on on the channel. Obviously, we're going to still keep on playing Divinity Original Sin 2 uh, in the Brothers Play series where me and my brothers play Divinity Original Sin 2. That's a good time. Uh, I have some other games. Uh, I have some other games downloaded right now. I'm sure there's games that are going to release that might take priority over them. But, you know, there's stuff like uh, Tales from Candleforth, Sea of Stars, Pseudo Regalia. Those are games I want to play. I don't know what my next Hump Day Horror is going to be. Uh, we have some Magic decks. Uh, oh, new Magic sets coming out this month, too. We're going to be playing some Modern Horizons the uh, Third, which is going to be on Arena, which is kind of insane. Uh, especially, it's an Eldrazi style set about magic in Modern Horizons. We'll play some more Timeless with all that nonsense. That'll be pretty cool. Maybe we'll be able to, like, sneak big, dumb things into play. More show-and-tell targets. <laughs> <coughs> Making me cough. But yeah, that's, uh, that's that for that. And, uh, I don't, I don't, what, what else am I even going to talk about? I don't even know what else I'm going to talk about. I still have half of a, still have half a sandwich. Hopefully you'll like the ASMR of me chewing. If you don't, you probably already signed off by now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What else I got going on in June? Not a whole lot. Could be just some birthday stuff at the beginning. Mostly just work. Things like that. This is, um, I guess it's just going to be a shorter video. I'm mostly doing this, you know, recap, do stuff, make an available post podcast for June. I was going to do one in my last episode, if you listen to that, which I think five of you did, and you five are the greatest. Uh, yeah, I said I was going to do this with my wife, but I didn't. As you can see, she not here in the room with me because she's at work, but that's fine. Um... Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know uh, what you want to hear about in for July's. Make sure you tell me, I don't know, tell me something. Got this far. You should definitely listen to Teleportus on any streaming platform that you listen to. Uh, Teleportus, like a teleport tortoise put together. Teleportois, if you're French or Spanish or anything. You should, uh, yeah, find, uh, check them out. Just released our album last month. EP. Solar. It's great. There's some uh, Bandcamp. Bandcamp brilliance there, too. If you want to pick up, uh, if you want to get a cassette, which are honestly look amazing. This is my little unpaid ad because I'm in the band. So I guess it's, yeah, it's unpaid. It's unpaid. YouTube, it's unpaid. Don't worry. An unpaid ad. I'm not gonna put this on the paid ads. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, well, that's my story. That's welcome. Welcome to the available post podcast. Um, yeah, my grilled cheese is done. So uh, 
I'll catch you in the next one. See, uh, t t tell me what game you want me to play. One day I'll be able to put my PS5 and plug it into the computer, and then I can do stuff like PS5 games, because there's lots of cool PS5 games that I want to put on the computer, even indie games that I would definitely play and be able to do, but uh, I don't have that technology. See, when it comes to technology, I have a very small brain. I'm surprised. I'm honestly shocked I can get OBS to do anything. And it does, but yeah, that's uh, yeah. And if you if you came and joined me, and you've you've subscribed to this channel, because I was playing cool stuff like I was a Khalif, and you're listening to this, and you're thinking like, what on earth is this guy doing? Uh, well, this is my podcast, and uh, if there's one thing I've learned is that podcasts, in the grand scheme of things. There's so many, and most of them kind of suck. So I'm just part of that. And you know what? That's okay. I'll stay in my lane. I like it. I love it. I'll keep on doing it. And there's not really much you can do about it. That's right. All right, well, catch you in the next one, and uh, bye for now.